to God. Sometimes things go well, sometimes they don't go well. But in the down moment, that's when you discover who you are. During the down moment, see, in the crop of time you put in your pot, at the lean time you put it in your heart. That's when you discover who you are. So find five reasons that empower you. Why is it that you deserve your goal? What are the five reasons that you won't give up? When life catch you on the blind side, when the messenger of misery visits you, what are you going to do? What will keep you in the game when life knocks you to the canvas? See, the Buster Douglas that fought in the last fight was not the Buster Douglas that fought Mike Tyson. See, the Buster Douglas that got knocked down while fighting Mike Tyson had gotten out of alcohol recovery center. His mother had died. His wife was ill with a terminal illness. He was considered a nothing, a bomb. So when he got knocked down, but the devil had a reason to get back up because he said, I'm dedicating this fight to the memory of my mother. But when he fought the last fight that he had, and he got knocked down, he had a guaranteed $24 million in his pocket. Whether he got up or not, he's going to hurry up and count me out. <laughs> no, why do you eat some food? Somebody's about to get hurt. Me. <laughs> so you've got to have some reasons that when life knocks you down and it's going to. And when it's going to knock you down, when people disappoint you, that's going to happen. When they betray you, that's going to happen. When they lie to you, that's going to happen. When they tell you can tell on me and they won't show up, and that's going to happen. When you want to throw in the towel and give up yourself, and that's going to happen. When life collapses on you and catch you on the fly track, it drops you to your knees and starts choking you. You got to breathe it all. I ain't got no reason. <laughs> and that's going to happen. What reason can you remember that you can call on, that you can reach on, that can make you get back up? Find that reason. Because when life would knock me down, I said, life, I'm doing this because I want to make my mama proud of me. I'm doing this because I want my children to have a better life than what I have. I'm doing this because all my life I've been told I'd be a loser, that I wouldn't make it. All my life I heard people say, maybe take them back to the welfare department. I'm doing this to make them alive. I believe like Frank Sinatra, he said the best revenge in life is massive success. I'm doing this so I can become massively successful. And with that kind of courage, with that kind of affirmation and reason to empower me, I got to say that when life knocks you down, try and lay on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. So would you run out of money? When things don't work out for you, when things happen that you could not anticipate, what are the reasons that you can think of that can keep you strong, that can keep you in the game, that will be your rod and staff to comfort you, that can be your bridge over troubled waters? Those reasons are very important. Nietzsche said, if you know the why for living, you can endure almost anyhow. So find out the reasons that you do what you do. Find out the reasons that will make you strong, that will make you walk by faith and not by sight, that will make you pursue your dream when everybody suggests you or don't believe in you no more. And let me tell you something, that's a lonely feeling. It's a lonely feeling, particularly people that you're doing it for, or people that stand to benefit the most, or people who should be the number one members in the encouragement club, but they end up saying, you can't do it, and they become members of the discouragement club. Oh, it, it hurts very badly. I know what that's like. Have people that you love close to you that look at you with that look and say, why don't you try something else? Why don't you give up? <laughs>